Number 35, this figure here shows an approximate plot of a force magnitude F versus time T during the collision of a 58 gram super ball with a wall. The initial velocity of the ball is 34 meters per second perpendicular to the wall. The ball rebounds directly back with approximately the same speed, also perpendicular to the wall. What is F max, the maximum magnitude of the force on the ball? on the ball from the wall during the collision. Okay, so let's make some drawing here. So let's suppose that this is the wall. And there is a ball that's going towards the wall with an initial velocity of 34 meters per second. So the ball hits the wall and starts going into the opposite direction. So its final velocity is equal to minus 34 meters per second because in the, it's the opposite direction. That's why we have the negative sign over there So our strategy here is to remember that the impulse is equal to the change in the linear momentum so The linear momentum can be written the change in the linear momentum can be written as the final linear momentum minus the initial linear momentum which by instance is equal to the mass which multiply, multiplies the, the, the final velocity minus the initial velocity. Okay, so we have the mass, we have the velocities here, we can calculate the impulse. In another way to calculate the impulse is to take the area under the curve F versus T. So we have this value over here and we will compare with this area over there. So the area, there you can see that if we take this part over here and throw it over there, then our area would be something like this, right? This rectangle. Or you can calculate this rectangle into triangles, doesn't matter. I'm going to calculate only one rectangle because it's easier. I'm just remember I'm just throwing this triangle here into that piece over there. So the impulse is equal to F max times 4 milliseconds, 4 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, so that's almost over because I already know this value and this value over here. So F max times 4 to the minus 3 is equal to the mass of the ball, which is 58 times 10 to the minus 3 that multiplies minus 34 uh, plus 34 right minus minus 34 that's this equation over here so this is going to so I'm going to isolate f max so f max is equal to 58 times 10 to the minus 3 minus 68 divided by 4 times 10 to the minus 3 and this will give us minus 9.9 .9 times 10 to the second Newton so uh, look that we have a negative sign over here that's why we said that our final velocity was negative and our initial was positive however you can see that this is positive so we so so that we could have chosen that this to be negative and this to be positive that this would give us the correct sign so the final answer is equal to 9.9 .9 times 10 to the second Newtons.